Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, it's just a follow-up to the previous uh, Phantom 3 video we did about uh, gains and expo. Um, and we're looking at another couple of um, things that you might want to tweak to tweak the kind of flight performance and the flight feel of the aircraft. Um, uh, but before we go any further, we must have a beverage when we're on The Kitchen Table discussing drones. And today we've gone back uh, gone back to coffee. It's, it, I've got got a lot on today and I need all the help I can get. So again, this is the home roasted um, Monsoon Malabar uh, black as nature intended. So uh, cheers. Mm. Oh, only the second of the day. Need another one soon. Right. Um, oh, one more thing. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm getting a bit bored about typing the response on email. Um, I've had several people ask me um, if I make the man tin and can they have one and can they buy one from me and, and how did I go about doing it? And you know, no, no, it's just something somebody bought for me for a joke. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nothing to do with me. It's just a funny thing you can buy on the interwebs. Quick Google search reveals that it's available on Amazon in the UK and the US for however much it is. I don't know. So please stop asking me if I can if I can send you one or if I know where they are. Amazon. I've, I'll put some a couple of my Amazon links. Um, if you're desperate to buy one, click on one of the links below. And if you do, it's the same cost to you and Amazon might throw me a, a smidgen, a couple of cents. So there we go. Enough. Stop asking me about my tin. Right. Now that we've got out of the way, <laughs> Phantom 3. Um, so, uh, yes, we did a video about Expo uh, mainly, which, uh, you know, warranted a bit of an explanation. Uh, the next two ones that you can adjust are, are really not so difficult to get your head around uh, and they are more about the aggressiveness of the response to the aircraft to something that you do on the sticks and these are called attitude and braking so they're both just one setting a percentage setting low high somewhere in the in the middle um an attitude is is all it means is basically when you do something on the sticks how aggressive is the response how crisp and rapid will the aircraft do what it is you've asked it to do? So at the tightest level, if I suddenly heel over one way, woof, you know, it should react almost instantaneously. At the lowest level, if I suddenly heel it over, there should be a kind of a lead in. Uh, and, and that's that. And they've done, they've done away in the P2 range. You could adjust those across a few of the parameters. What they've done now is just put one overall setting called attitude, which basically governs how every uh, stick control what, what, how sharp the response of the aircraft is to your inputs. Uh, fairly straightforward, um, although it can make a bit of a difference and I'll, we'll look at some video uh, showing that in, in a second. The other control uh, that you can see down there is called braking. Uh, seems to have caused some head scratching amongst other people, but what this basically refers to is, again, it's, a, it's an aggressiveness factor. How aggressively does the aircraft come to a stop and hover if you're in one of the automatic modes, GPS mode, and you let go of the stick, how quickly will that aircraft bring itself to a stop? At the default setting, it's relatively aggressive. It puts in some opposite input, if you like, and really kind of tries to haul itself back and come to a stop. Uh, you can soften that up a little bit by adjusting this setting. So if you don't want, for, some, for, for example, if you wanted a video where you wanted to start with a very fast movement and then wanted to actually come to a more gradual stop, you could dial down the braking aggressiveness and let it kind of slide into a stop. Um, vice versa, you can tweak it up. I personally wouldn't go, I personally wouldn't want to tweak it any higher than it currently does on its default setting because that's quite aggressive if you ask me. Um, but you know, you may have your reasons. Again, adjust cautiously, increment at a time, you know, 10% here, 10% there until you find something that works um, for you. Don't go straight from one extreme to the other. So uh, I said this was going to be a short video. That's it for the explanation. It's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, I, I went out into a field to do some beautiful demonstration shots like I've done for you recently before with the nice picture in picture and the long shot and the tripod, fantastic. Um, did all that, it was lovely, lovely day, lovely weather. My, I was ably assisted by one of my children and uh, then came home to pull the video off the memory card of the camera to find that it's completely corrupted. And I think the card has finally died after many years. It's the first time it's happened, so I was a bit gutted. However, 
by a flukish coincidence, um, I was experimenting with, with recording stuff from my tablet that I was using with the P3. So I have actually got some really bad wobbly footage. So rather than just kind of leave you with nothing, I'm going to overlay now uh, an e examples of tweaks to the attitude. I'm going to I've basically I've ramped the attitude setting up to its to its max, and then I've left it at a um, done a more sloppy one, and kind of you can see the difference. And then we'll follow that up with looking at um, a couple of braking maneuvers. One with the uh, high level of braking, the other one with it down to its minimum, and you'll definitely see the difference in the slop. So we'll have a look at those now. I think you can see the difference. Okay, so here we go. Let's um let's stuff it in full speed and then brake. Okay, full tilt. Full 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 full. And let go. Okay, fairly aggressive. So here we are, and we've now changed it down to the minimum. Let's um, let's go again. Aggressive, and three, two, one, release. Whee! A big slide, and it's still fighting the wind there. So you can see the difference. There we go, that was it. Again, apologies for the technical failure. Uh, it's the first time it's ever happened, and to be honest, I think the memory card involved was many, many years long in the tooth so uh, we've got a shiny new one in there so we shouldn't have that again uh, sadly i just wasn't able to get out um, and reshoot uh, when i found out quite late on about that there we go never mind thank you for your patience normal service will be resumed as they say that's it thank you very much indeed for watching as ever thank you very much for if you're a subscriber um, and a special thanks if you're a channel patron who's supporting uh, supporting the channel with a small regular donation because it's enabling me to do a lot more bits and pieces than I would have otherwise have been. So a special thanks to you. We'll see you again soon, back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers. Okay.